What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. The long awaited series of the 97203 F150 Coyote Swap is back. Um, I'll talk about it here in a little bit why it's taking so long. It's hot rodding, guys, and it's, you know, post pandemic. But uh, either way, we're back and uh, got some cool stuff to show you on this up uh, on the uh, F150. So let's go. Real quick, guys, if you caught the last video, the 82 GT, we've got her stripped down, and yeah. So what are we doing with the 82 GT? It is going over to have the engine bay uh, actually done. It's kind of halfway done, um, and we're going to, we told the owner, look, it's such a nice car, the engine bay needs to match it. So basically, instead of kind of just being halfway done and matte black, it's going to get the full business like this car. All right, guys, so here's a couple of the things we've been waiting on. We needed a uh, engine harness and trans harness, the factory one. Uh, we're going to send over to our buddy Nathan uh, Hensley that's going to make all of the stock gauges work, um, like the, the pats and all of that stuff. Um, so we're waiting on that. Um, Adam's uh, harness actually went with the old motor, so we've been trying to source another one of those. The other big issue um, that we've been dealing with is they don't make a swap header for the 97 to 03 uh, F-150s. So I've been working with my buddy Alex Civiletti at Holly and I think we may have it beat. We'll know at the end of this video. Um, but here is today's experiment. If it works and we'll know by the end of this video, then boom, you're golden on doing one of these trucks. If not, hey, we'll find another set and, and go from there. But if you guys don't remember, this is a Gen 2 Coyote 6R80 and it's getting the Roush Supercharger. And this was actually originally a supercharged F-150 Harley Davidson uh, owned by my good buddy, Adam. And uh, this is the first one we've done. There's other videos in the series as far as mock-up and all that. So go back and check those out if you're new to the series. Um, but today we're going to solve another issue. It's hot rodding. It's engine swapping. Not everything's going to be handed to you in the way of a swap header or, you know, this or that. So we're going to see, see if we can make it happen today. All right. He's up. So this is the moment of truth. Yeah, we'll right did, did we make a discovery or is this a complete waste of the uh, waste of time? Oh, oh careful there. Get that ground out of the way. Oh man. Oh, this damn. Oh. Piece for the control arm. Yeah, you're hitting that. Uh oh. It's hitting just the very edge of that yeah, perch. Might could which, slot that or something. But I mean, we're about there. Yeah, I think I could cut an angle and wield it back. So, driver's side. Oh yeah, we got room everywhere. So we got a different mount we're putting on this side. Right. So I think we may be golden. Yeah, we possibly. So so far the only spot that it touched is right here. Which that's something, you know, we can just kind of modify it. Yeah, just just shave that down. It it don't even need much. Alright guys, so real quick, there's a couple of things we didn't go over with you there the five fours have a really weird motor mount it's for the oil cooler isn't it yeah it's got a big piece here but it goes yeah down. so i just faced this one so we can get something yeah we had major issues with that but this is going to be the driver's side motor mount you so want so it pushes this out right so it eliminates that issue but there's your part number right there that's a dura last i guess that's auto zone, auto zone. Um, so you will need that motor mount work and that's what it looks like there so that's what we're doing right now before we just had it space so we're swapping that motor mount first all right guys another part i didn't show you 
Uh, this has all been after the fact. Uh, Stifflers actually makes this cross member for this truck. So that makes life 100% easier. There's your 6R80 mount. Um, so yeah, that makes it 100% easier just to go ahead and bolt in your, uh, your 6R80 as well. So, so far what we've covered, we've got your motor mounts covered. We've got your uh, trans covered. The and side is just the, the one off. Yeah, just a stock. The, the, one, the motor mount on the passenger side is just the stock one is fine. And uh, here in just a second, we're about to have your headers covered too. So that's a whole lot of stuff. Basically all problems eliminated for some, uh, some pretty big items. All right, we'll give you guys another view of the headers going in. Look at that. Yeah, this side's fine. Plenty of room everywhere. We already checked the, uh, of course, the stifflers is going to change this. Yeah, right. So that's, that should and give us exhaust clearance. That's the thing, guys. You can make this work, but the stifflers, like you just said, is going to give you that clearance for the dual exhaust um, with the long tube. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's perfect. Like, it clears everywhere. It's close. Engine jacked up a little bit. I think we're going to have to modify that a lot. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to clear here. I don't know if he's going to clear. Huh. Yeah, I don't think he's going to clear. Yeah, because we're touching the frame. Driver's eyes behind it. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the frame there. Yeah, because it's got to go down quite a bit now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, so our experiment failed, guys. It If it only hit up, which let me go ahead and show you again. If it only hit up here where the upper A-arm mount is, that's something, you know, we were just going to rebox it a little farther back. That That's not the issue that we're running into. Where we're running into an issue is it's all on the frame right here and like yeah it, it's just all on the frame it's not gonna work uh so unfortunately we tried um but those aren't gonna work so at this point we're kind of back to square one uh the was it number three or number two it was number two, it was number two needed to kind of come down and go under number three primary to clear this and the frame and it doesn't so uh, we're kind of back to square one and it's one of those where headers aren't cheap So it's not like you can just buy a bunch of them and try them out and all that, and, you know, and plus a lot of them are back order, so I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm gonna get with Alex at Holly and Maybe we'll be able to figure something out here uh, Real quick guys before we let you go. We do got all uh, got All the power by the hour accessories here Get all the belts and power steering bracket, AC bracket, tensioners, Palabada Awa, and of course the alternator bracket. So get that, and then um, are gonna do uh, the oil pump gears. I brought some oil pump gears, and then we can go ahead and probably put that fuel system in as well. Dual hat with the 340s right here. And there's your old pump gear, and then of course here's the control pack here. Boom. So yeah, we got got a lot of parts, but unfortunately it's the the little stuff, and that's why we like to do these kind of series because you get to figure out cool stuff. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. We're back to the drawing board and. Uh, Hey, it is what it is. But the cool thing is once we find one that works, I'll bring it to you and then you don't have to go through all this. But honestly, it's kind of fun just trying to do trial and error, see what works. So uh, this truck's gonna be badass. Don't forget, supercharged too. So 
that's gonna be epic sorry we're pushing cars around <sighs> um so hope you enjoyed this one if you did big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button and as soon as we have more updates you know we'll bring them to you see you on the next one